In the previous video, we learned about mutations in React Query. We call the use mutation hook, passing in a mutation function. We enter a hero name and their alter ego, click on add hero, and the hero details are saved in db.json. Everything works fine, but there is room for improvement. At the moment, after we add a hero, We have to manually refetch the superhero list by clicking the fetch heroes button. This is because as soon as we add a new hero, the superheroes query data is out of date. Wouldn't it be nice if we could tell React Query to automatically refetch the superheroes query as soon as the mutation succeeds? Well, it definitely would be nice and React Query makes it really simple to achieve that. The feature is called Query Invalidation. Let's see how to implement it. The first step is to get hold of the Query Client instance, similar to what we did when specifying initial query data. So import use Query Client from React Query. Then within the custom mutation hook, get hold of the instance const query client is equal to use query client. Then we need to get hold of the success callback on the use mutation hook. For that, we specify the second argument, which is an object. The property is called on success and this is an arrow function. The code within this function is executed as soon as the mutation succeeds. And what we want to do here is invalidate the superheroes query. We do that using the invalidate queries method on the query client instance. So query client dot invalidate queries and we pass in superheroes as the key. The same string we have specified on line 13. By invalidating the query, React Query will refetch the superheroes query. And that is it. Pretty simple as you can see. Let's head to the browser and test this out. Let's enter Billy Batson and Shazam. Click on add hero. And you can see the superheroes list automatically updates to display the new hero. We don't have to manually refetch it. So when the mutation succeeded, a background refetch was initiated, which resulted in the UI displaying the newly added hero. By experience, you probably know that adding a new item and updating the list of items is a pretty common pattern when it comes to React applications. Hopefully, you now know how to do it in a very simple way with React Query. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.